the latest in household appliances imported from Turkey for the South African market. Retailers from all over Johannesburg come to this showroom to select the best products for their customers. This particular brand is quite well known in South Africa and can be found in many homes. But what's not commonly known is that it's owned by a Turkish company and a lot of these products, especially the washing machines, are manufactured in Turkey. Not far from this showroom is this high-end clothing store selling clothes and shoes made in Turkey. Well, the first thing that we looked for was a country with high quality artisans. Uh, the difficulty in breaking into any market is considering which country has good quality artisans, especially in the clothing and shoe environment. Turkey has got an exceptional range of artisans available in the manufacture of textiles, including leather products. The store caters mostly to businessmen and politicians, and they say that business is booming. It is also fitting that the store is right next door to where the leaders of Brazil, India, China and South Africa are meeting to talk about how to improve global trade. Known as the BRICS group, these countries represent more than 40% of the global population. However, the group has struggled to find a unified voice with each country forging their own economic and growth paths. I think also if you look at what has happened to South Africa over the years, South Africa's trade partner, main trade partner apart from China is Europe and the US. And when there's a financial crisis in, in either region, South Africa then uh, falters as a result because uh, its manufacturing sector cannot export to Europe because the demand has slowed down. This year, the group is reaching out to other emerging economies. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is attending the gathering, a move seen by businessmen here as one that will potentially open up trade to new markets. I think two continents stand to benefit from Turkey's presence at the BRICS summit, that being Africa and Europe as a whole, including Eastern Europe. The reason why I say this is because you have two countries that are the gateways in their respective continents, South Africa being the gateway into Africa and Turkey being the gateway into Eastern Europe and the conduit between Europe and Eastern Europe. Some economists say the trade war the U.S. is waging against China and other developed countries has forced the BRICS group to forge stronger ties amongst themselves and also look for new partners. They say that branching out to countries such as Turkey was a necessary step in mitigating the effects of recent U.S. trade policies. Philip Powira, TRT World, Johannesburg, South Africa.